Hello and welcome to a new video where I will show you how to install and configure my latest plugin Playomatic Play Store APK uh, Importer plugin for WordPress. So to get started, click plugins, add new, upload plugin, navigate to the choose file, navigate to the zip file you downloaded, and click install now. After the quick installation process, activate the plugin. Now we can go to plugin settings and configure the plugin. <coughs> These are advanced options that we see here. We can go to APKs to WordPress to start creating rules. This plugin imports uh, APKs and this their description with featured images from apkmirror.com. So, if we go to apkmirror.com, we see many, many APKs. Note that they are f only free, the free ones. So, this plugin will import only the free APKs that are on the market. Okay. <coughs> we have to create a rule to start importing. Let's say the page number for APK Mirror is 1. 1 is this page. 2 is this page, 3, 4, 5. So if we go to 2, if we want to import APKs from here, then we'll put 2 in this text field. If we want from the first page, we put 1. Schedule. I want to run this rule every 24 hours, so if tomorrow there will be new F APKs added here and the post with uh, the rule will, uh, will run automatically and post will be imported. I want 10 posts maximum for each run to be imported. Post status should be published, pending draft private or trash, item type post page or any custom page type you have installed, the post author and advanced settings. You can define item title for the imported posts. These are short codes. You can use these short codes to change the item title as you wish. And same for item content. Here you, we have more short codes available. Include APKs from main search result. If we check this, then these will be added. Incle include latest. If we check the latest, these also will be added to the results. After these ones, so these are the first that will be added. After they, these will come. Popular last month, week and last day last month, last week, and last day. So if we uncheck these and leave only last day, only these will be imported from the last 24 hours. But let's check these all. Okay, generated post format. We can choose any post format that our uh, WordPress install supports. Additional post category, we can select additional categories, auto add categories, hashtags or content. If the content has any hashtags, they will be imported as categories. Same for tags, additional tags, enable comments, ping back trackbacks, auto get featured image, and default featured image if no image set for the APK. Let's save our rule. It was created with the ID 0. Now let's have a look at our blog. This is my blog. Let's refresh it. Now let's run this rule to see what happens after it runs. Okay. Until then, let's see the activity and logging section. Current rules that are running, we can see here our rule that is running with ID 0. 
Restore plugin default settings, delete all posts generated by this plugin, and activity log the activity of the plugin. Also, if we go now to our blog and refresh it, we see that posts were imported and the rule run successfully. If we go to APK Mirror on page 1, we will see that these ops are getting imported. Okay. These two were added right now. This is because these are not included. But if I run this again, they will be included. Okay, now let's go to advanced settings and let's go through them. You can change the text for the download now button. The download the now button can be achieved with the use of uh, where is it? The short code item read more button. This is the short code to get the download now button. And you can change it, its text here. Automatically shorten URLs using Google, uh, Google API key. Strip links from generated post content, show extended item information meta box. This is uh, I'll show you what this is right now. If we go on a post, we will see this is the item information meta box. Enable logging for rules, enable detail logging for rules, automatically create logs after a period of time. Time out of for rules. If a rule takes more than this amount of settings to run, it will automatically be stopped. Rule running summary to email to this email address. Minimum title workout, maximum title workout, band where is required, where is uh, these are restrictions for the post. If the post does not meet these restrictions, it will not be posted. Featured image resize size, you can resize the featured image. Skip posts that do not have images. Automatically translate content to, uh, using Google Translate to any language you choose. Hi Google Translate pop up for the content. Spin text using a built in or free other text methods. Here we have a random sentence generator. You can define sentences here or here with uh, variables. There, uh, it will the plugin will choose one or sentences at random from these and the variables will be substituted with variable values. So if you define a percent adjective variable, you can define here the adjective variable and their possible values. So the plugin will choose a random one value from here. They can be used by these short codes, random sentence and uh, random sentence too. Custom add codes used by custom HTML and custom HTML2 shortcodes. You can define here add codes or anything else you want. And the keyword ref replacer tool, search for this keyword, replace it with this keyword and add a link to it. <coughs> this is in the post content. Okay, this is all. I hope you will enjoy this plugin. Have fun using it. Bye bye. Also, I forgot, I forgot to show you a post, <coughs> so let's see a post, how it looks. This is a post with its icon, detailed description of the APK and the download link. The download link will lead us to the Play Store item. Uh, note that this can be customized, so if you want to get other plugin post content, you can change it here and use any available shortcodes in this. 
Okay, let's have a look at another. This has only a short description. Runtastic has longer description. Okay, so this is all. Bye bye.